Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronox, and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. We've got Cirilla for free. So, Cirilla's challenge event. And uh, I didn't think we'd get her, but uh, this was part of the Halloween event on the Korean server before the global launch. But we're getting her now. So, this is gonna be up for two weeks, even though it's saying six days left in game, which is a bug. And uh, how to enter, you clear stage 6-1, Northern Wind Corner, and then you go Lobby, Battle, and then Challenge. So Cyril is a 4-star Fire Mage, she's, she's definitely worth getting as a free-to-play player. If you spend money in this game and like you have a bunch of 5-stars, she's probably not... Uh, I mean, you might not want to use her. But I'll do a guide and review for her uh, later on. You're getting quite a bit of uh, stigma and gold in there. Well, in uh, in the harder difficulty because it actually costs 30 energy to do it. Here's the drop rates for her. Uh, normal 3%, hard 7%, hell 20%. So you definitely want to do the highest difficulty that you can handle. Normal is 10 uh, energy, hard is 15 energy, and hell is 30 energy. We also have reputation rewards and 30k gold for clearing normal. So you can actually get her by just clearing 10 times any difficulty. So you don't have to uh, just run normal uh, like a bunch of times to wait for her to drop. If you were starting, on, uh, starting in this game, uh, you're not going to be so strong early on. But uh, you've got two weeks to get stronger and uh, get more copies of her. So... You could just start off with one copy and then uh, you could get just two, get the uh, memory imprint, get her to a five star, use one of her as a uh, uh, father to promote her. You need, you need uh, eight copies. You keep one and then you use seven for memory imprints if you want to triple S the, uh, uh, the memory imprint like I did. So, uh, yeah, she's triple S, 12.6% effectiveness. It, uh, it works for everyone in the team beside herself. That's how memory imprints work. They don't work for uh, the, uh, the hero that is giving the memory imprint uh, boost. All right, so let's go in the lobby. So this is how you access uh, the challenge. You press on battle, the bottom uh, right, or you go from the menu and then you press battle. And at the bottom right, you've got challenge and uh, Cyrilla's challenge. Six days left, like I said, it's uh, it's like a bug. It's gonna last two weeks. They wouldn't say it last two weeks in the announcement and then uh, have it last only a week. The reputation I've done already. So uh, yeah, clear hard, you get the three uh, silver transmit stone and hell difficulty, clear it once and you get a gold transmit stone, which is really nice. So you get one copy uh, from here, so you only need to farm seven copies if you want to triple S uh, her memory imprint. So like I said, the energy cost is 10 for normal, 15 for hard, and uh, 30 for hell. And the items that drop in there are the usual, uh, this is the old uh, tier 4 uh, in the old system, item level 44 now. And these are nice, the ring and necklace charms. The other ones can be gained in adventures. Uh, they're not that hard to get, so yeah. These are the better ones to get as drops. I will go with this team in there, but first I want to uh, just talk about these uh, brooms. On the first wave you encounter four of these. And uh, these are easy to deal with because like, they have a 15% chance to invoke uh, magic. This is this skill and uh, it increases the speed of a random ally for two turns. Or they can just use straight up use that thing, it has two turn cooldown. First wave is easy, second wave you're going to have to deal with Snell Slime. And I'll talk about it more in the battle. But he splits into uh, four at the, when he gets to below 40% health. There it is. And uh, then you've got to fight Cirilla with two of these. Dawn uh, Dark Broom. And these are quite annoying actually. The first attack they have, it attacks two enemies by shaking a broom with a 75% chance to decrease attack or decrease speed of enemies already inflicted 
uh, yeah, or it's or. So I mean, initially they're gonna do a decrease attack, 75% chance. But if you already have the decrease attack debuff, it's gonna do decrease speed debuff, and uh, it has a 30% chance uh, as well to invoke magic after attacking. So there's some uh, randomness in there, some RNG that you have to deal with. So you're gonna have to deal with two of these plus uh, Cyrilla. And this attacks all enemies with magic. If enemies are inflicted with decreased attack or speed, the effect duration will be extended by two turns. Really annoying stuff. So on the first uh, time I, I uh, actually fought Cyrilla, I just killed the broom first and then I killed Cyrilla. Now I just target her and it's kind of a face roll because my CP is high and my, my team is pretty strong. But uh, yeah, I'll talk more about the uh, battle as uh, I get in there. I, I'm actually reshooting this video because the volume was super loud in the battles, like ridiculously uh, loud. So I'm just redoing the video. So I'm getting in there. And uh, yeah, let me talk about... Uh, well, the, the second boss, he applies poison. Uh, debuff for two turns. Uh, Cirilla applies burning she applies poison uh debuff as well for two turns and then you've got the brooms that have decreased attack and then decreased speed debuff so there's a bunch of debuffs that's what i'm getting at so you definitely want to have someone that can remove those debuffs because they're just gonna pile up on you and uh, it's gonna make your team uh, uh, quite weak so bring someone that can remove those debuffs and uh, if you have someone that has uh, debuff immunity, that'd be even better. It's gonna make this fight a whole lot easier. And uh, yeah, there is some uh, randomness in the battle. You definitely don't want to... Uh, if you're unlucky, you can always press the top right uh, button when it's paused and just yield. Don't, don't go in there in the in hell difficulty and lose 30 energy just you're gonna have to pay attention if you're struggling you could in this battle let me pause this in this fight when he splits into four ads you could actually kill like one two three just like auto attack you skill one on your heroes and get your cooldowns ready uh, you could always uh, uh, take off debuffs you can get healthy use your healer to heal yourself save your souls from the first and second wave for the Cyrilla battle. You can uh, apply debuff immunity before going in Cyrilla's battle if your team is too slow. You can also uh, apply barrier before going in there. So there's uh, multiple ways to uh, to be ready, to be ready to face her. And uh, so this guy, increase speed every time he is attacked. So if you're taking too long, like if you don't have enough damage, the fight drags on and he's getting faster and faster. He splits into four slimes when he falls below 40% health. They're easy to deal with. Uh, the uh, normal skill is pierce the enemies with a 50% chance to inflict poison for two turns. So yeah, like I said, debuffs that needs to be removed. I mean, it's it, poison, they take for 5% of your health every time. It's not, a, not that much, but I mean, if he's, his speed is like stacking and he's getting faster and faster, this is going to be quite annoying. And maybe you're, you're using someone that can cleanse, but it's on a high, uh, high cooldown and you won't be able to handle all the poisons later on. Now the ultimate sap cover, two turn cooldown. Uh, weigh down the enemy making them unhealable for three turns. That's another debuff you have to deal with Damage dealt increased proportional to the number of debuff inflicted on the enemy. So if you don't take care uh, uh, To cleanse like those debuff. He's gonna like deal uh, more damage and uh, It's gonna get crazy So yeah, and he has zero effect resistance actually. That's pretty good. But Cirilla has, uh, actually has like all the boss immunity, uh, stun silence, uh, provoke, and uh, some other one, we'll get onto that. And she has like something like 50% effect resistance. 
So like I said, if you're struggling, you could do it auto initially, if you feel com confident, uh, but just be ready to uh, pause and yield if uh, things are not going your way. Cause even with my team, there are some auto runs where I lost Diana and I lost Clary in front. I only had Tarnargard and, uh, and Kise in the back that were alive. And they weren't like 100% healthy too. So it can be really dangerous, like if you're unlucky. So like just uh, turn off auto like on this phase and get ready for Cirilla. I'm just gonna pause here. So right there, like look at what's going on. I, I'm not even going first. And I have, uh, like I have a lot of speed. Uh, my Diane has like 200 speed. Yeah, what's the turn order? Okay, my like my Diane's going now, but yeah, they're going really quick. So you have like you could be unlucky, and they could like the brooms could be uh, proking their uh, their second skill. But let's uh, talk about surreal skill. Randomly steals five turn of cooldown from an enemy. At the start of the battle, decreasing their combat readiness to 0%, increasing the combat readiness of all allies to 100%. So the battle starts, and this makes it so uh, she and both brooms are going. And randomly steals 5 turn of cooldown. So uh, from what I'm gathering, she's gonna. It's odd, because I've seen her steal this thing I've seen her like use this thing she used that skill she had berry on herself so like I said there's a lot of randomness in this battle and uh, yeah so you have to deal with that and then if you're debuffed she's uh, you're dealing 30% uh, less damage to her Flame Kiss swallows the enemy in the Flame of Chatty. The Magic Lantern burning for two turns with the number of burn effect being proportional to the number of debuff inflicted on the enemy. So this can only be used after using this. So she's gonna apply more burn effects uh, if you have more debuffs on yourself on the target that's gonna that she's gonna attack and uh, attacks with flame of seduction with a 75% chance to decrease hit chance for two turns so yeah you've got to deal with decrease hit chance decrease attack from the broom decrease speed from the broom and then there's the poison here absorb health so she heals herself when she uses that. Uh, for help from the enemy with Chatty, the Magic Lantern, granting stackable increased attack and speed to the caster. So she also is uh, getting stronger and faster the longer the fight drags on. Dispels all buff from the enemy and inflict up to two poison effect depending on the number of buffs. So she a lot of randomness, like I said, like if she targets your let's say your damage dealer. Uh, takes off the attack buff uh, not, they're gonna deal less damage if uh, and then she's gonna apply poison uh, debuff and then like you could have decreased hit chance on your damage dealer you could have decreased attack you could have decreased speed from the brooms like it it's gonna get crazy if you're unlucky so you have to pay attention or manual the boss fight if you're struggling or like really like pay attention and just yell if things are not going your way and just keep on trying until like uh, you're not unlucky and you'll just end up killing her unless you if you can't even reach her like forget it like if you you're struggling on first and second wave forget forget it but yeah let's uh, just turn this on I'll kill her and uh, yeah I mean uh, good luck with farming her she's definitely worth getting uh, even if you spend money in this game like uh, uh, her kit is, uh, is is quite special and uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of testing with her uh, a free triple S 
memory and print, 12.8% uh, effectiveness for your three other uh, team members. That's that's quite cool. But yeah, uh, use four of the copies, keep them as they are, four star level one, and then get her to four star max level, and then use four of her copies to promote her to five star, and then uh, you're almost there. You've got uh, three more copies. So what I did, I just straight up fed those uh, three copies after she was five star. Just got some uh, experience. You see how much uh, that damage Diane's taking. <clears throat> and look, she's got she, attack buff. Uh, like she just she stole the 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 buff from Diane. Like I said, it doesn't say so, but this thing steals your buffs. Because I've seen her with barrier. So it's really like it's not an easy fight. And uh, yeah, what you can do is you use four copies of her uh, and you feed it them into uh, her, the copy you're gonna keep, you're gonna triple S, uh, promote uh, with those. And then I just like fed the other three after she was five star, five star, she gets some experience and that's it. Or you could level individually each of these uh, three star up to five star uh, and then feed those into her with two other uh, five stars to make her six star if that's what you're planning to do uh, but I would not farm more than eight copies I would not use uh, multiple copies of her to promote the other copies and make them uh, five star uh, to get her to six star like it 60 energy the, the, you can bring a father in there in the hardest difficulty it's gonna be a pain cost too much you don't get catalyst the like it's just stigma and gold and some equipment and if you're lucky uh ring and necklace uh, charms definitely don't don't farm more than eight copies in there uh it's totally not worth it but she she's definitely worth getting diane took so much damage that she, she ended up being mvp all right so this covers it uh so yeah again good luck with the farming i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever i release a new video all right peace out for now you've got two weeks guys so like don't rush into it just get stronger if you're having some difficulties just get the initial copy from 10, 10 runs let's say but yeah don't if you think you can in a week or a couple days farm a harder difficulty uh there's no reason to just like farm eight copies you know of her uh in a lower difficulty so yeah all right peace out